Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Usually I will review a toy or a figure. But today we're going to have a look at these sort of toys to life things. This is Light Seekers Awakening. I was up uh, in Lincoln a couple of weeks ago and I went round the home bargains there and they had this and another chap who I can't get in, in shot. <laughs> There's not enough room. These, these boxes are huge. Uh, yeah, they had these for a five reach so I thought I'd get them and have a look at them. Now if you saw my very first video on the channel, the toy haul video, you will see that I did talk about these two things and I asked if anybody wanted me to do a review on them to let me know. Well, nobody specifically said do a review, but Borders Dude was like, let us know how, you know, what they're like. So I thought, well, just, ah, might as well just do a review then. So that's what I'm doing. So I've got this one, and then let me just take this one out of shot. I also have, oh, jump is gone again. I also have this one. So we're going to take a look at both of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open them up. We'll have a look at the toy and all the stuff that it comes with. Then I'm going to go away. I'm going to download the game, play it for a little bit, see if it's good or not. And then I will come back and I will do a full review on the actual game. So I'm going to cut here. I'm going to open them all up and we'll take a closer look at the figures. So I will be right back. Right, so we're going to have a look at this orange chap first. Now his name is Tyrax. Uh, he is a hero. I don't know if there are villains. It just says on the front, Tyrax starter pack. Hero plus weapon plus fusion core. Five times augmented reality trading cards and a tribute card. That's what it says in on rather the front of the box. So what comes in the box? Well, you've got your quick start guide, which is basically just uh, what's just one sheet of paper, really. So, so that's that. I will take a closer look at this later when I have a go at the game. You get. I thought this here. I thought I thought these were the individual cards because it did look like it uh, on the uh, on the in the box. I can't get my words out in the box but no this is uh, this is just a, a, a piece of card just representation of what you get you do get these cards in this pack I haven't opened them yet I will cover them in detail once I've played the game but you get five according to the box so that's quite nice and that I have to say is some very nice artwork so if all the cards have artwork like that, I will be very happy. I know this says Jax, so I wonder if that's his name. Or if it's just a fellow whatever he is. I will find out when I play the game, I'm sure. He comes with this little doodad, which looks like it plugs into his hand because he does have a slot in there. Oh no, wait a minute, that can't be right. All right, okay. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is just yet. So, but it has buttons. So I'm guessing it can do stuff when you press the buttons. So I don't know, we'll come back to that. So you get that. You get one USB Type-C cable. So, actually, is that USB-C? No, it is not. It is micro USB. My bad, I thought that was USB-C, but it's micro USB. Well, that's a shame. I don't have any devices that use, <laughs> use that. So, um, right, well, I've got a few Type-C cables anyway, so. He comes with his tail, which is packaged separately, presumably just to, you know, fit him in the box. So I will pop that on shortly. He comes with this pretty spiffy weapon. Ah, that's what plugs into his hand. Okay, I see. Right. I don't know if this will light up. There's lots of clear plastic on it, so it may well do. But it's really nice. 
I do rather like that. These are beautifully painted as well. This I don't think this is a cheap item. I don't think this was cheap to produce. So how they're selling it at a fiver, I do not know. So there's the axe. And obviously you get the figure itself. And I will say that for a fiver, I wasn't expecting much. I was expecting this to be a static figure. But it does actually have some articulation, which I'm very surprised at. It's not much, but it's it's more than I thought. So basically what you get is you get a little bit of head movement. It's on a it's on a ball joint, I think. I'm actually not sure if it is a ball joint. No, it might just be a swivel. So you get a little bit of head movement. It's hindered by this shoulder piece here. But he does have shoulders that will go all the way up and down as well as rotate although not all the way around and you can hear that it's on a ratchet joint he's got ratchet joints at the elbow it doesn't go like up and down but you get a little bit of that from there there's nothing at the wrist he's got this he's got another one of those hmm, okay curious uh, and he does have some movement at the legs you can go back and forth a wee bit and you get a little bit of in and out so that surprised me I was not expecting any articulation on this at all so I'm really I'm gobstopped to be honest but yeah he's he's a beautiful looking figure as well if you have no intention of playing the game I would say, for a fiver, this is worth a pickup just for the figure itself. Because this guy is gorgeous. I just need to pause for one moment, I'll be right back. No, apologies for that. Right, so yes, he is really nice. The sculpt work on this is gorgeous. He's got lots of this really nice um, metal flake blue paint as well. It's got that all down him. It's all down the arm as well. Some nice silver also. Lots of detailing. This is a really nice action figure. Does he have waist rotation? No, no waist rotation. I think that was asking a bit too much. And he's got lots of these clear elements as well. So, as I said, I'm not sure clear elements on his head as well. I'm not sure if these light up. I think they do. There's some more on his shoulders. I was wondering if that was a button. No. On his shoulder, I should say, not on the other one. But really nice. I mean, there's a really nice fade here on this loincloth piece. This is very nicely done. I don't know if these are stripes or battle damage here. But it's just a really nice action figure. Like I say, if you don't even play the game, this action figure for a fiver is absolutely worth it. And it's got a speaker on the back here, presumably where the sounds come from, because that's how speakers work. I'm guessing this is the on-off button. Oh, no, I thought it was, but it's not, no. Maybe one of those ones that just turns itself on and then off when left for a while. Alright, let's pop the tail on and get it out of the bag. I tell you though, this guy was a little monkey to get out of the package in those tie, those plastic tie things. I, I don't get toy companies, or in this case, not toys, uh, video games. Why they have to keep using all of these plastic ties? One wound is waste would have been enough but no there was like 10 of them right so you just clip that in I'm guessing oh, it's a bit tight. there we go all right so that's in there that's probably not coming out again uh, that's what he looks like with his tail that's pretty cool it looks almost looks like a wrench mmm nice I like it uh, the main figure is like a hard plastic but the legs are more of what you'd expect from an action figure type plastic I imagine it's because all of this main body has 
the light and sound features in. So you're going to need the, you know, the space inside the body for all of the electronics. But overall, I really like this guy. Let's see if he can hold this. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. That's uh, similar to the uh, the way the Starlink figures work, I think. Well, at least with the the add-on packs that you put on the wings of the starships. I am very impressed with this chap. I like him a lot. I, I, I can't believe this was a fiver. And you get a video game. Un unreal. Really. Right, okay, I'm going to take him away and I'm going to have a little play with him. Oh, no, I've got the other one to look at first. We'll have a look at the other one first. I'll take them both away and have a play. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave this guy for a minute and I'll get the other one out. So I will see you shortly. Right, so here's the other one out of the box. Now, I thought the, the name on the front of the box was the name of the actual character, but I don't think that is the case because I was looking at the other one and the card that came with him said Jax rather than Tyrax so I think the name on the front of the box is from where they hail uh, but the name of the actual character is on the character card so this one is called Cora and uh, she comes from Mari so yeah I think that's it anyway I will look it up uh, to, to be absolutely sure but I'm pretty sure that's what it is so right similarly we get the uh, same sort of stuff so we get the quick start guide uh, I do now have the game while I was in between filming these two I downloaded the game haven't played it yet but we'll have a look at it and see what it's like uh, she does come with collector cards as well with the same really nice artwork on it haven't opened either of these packs but we will do that together we'll do that at a later date when we talk about the actual video game another one of these cables uh, I said in the last part that I didn't have a device with the USB types uh, micro USB I should say this isn't actually for the phone or the tablet this is for plugging into this light core thing it goes in here. I didn't realise that, so that was me being a bit dumb. So, you get another one of those. Uh, you do get this... What was it they called it? Power core. Fusion core. Fusion core. So, yeah, basically, this is the thing that powers the figure. So, you charge this up. I haven't charged this one yet, because I've only just got this one out of the box. I don't think there's much charge in it, if any at all. So what you do with this is it plugs into the back of your character. You have to take the back off like so and then you just plug this whole thing in and then they have this little backpack going on. But again, we will cover that when I get to the gameplay. I'm just going to cover the figures for the moment and we'll come back to the gameplay later. You get a weapon and apparently all of the weapons are interchangeable so if you have all of the characters I believe there are six you can interchange their weapons I think that changing a weapon to a different character gives the character a new ability so yeah oh I just noticed it's a little hermit crab oh it's so cute it's a little hermit crab <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, uh, so yeah, the, um, the more of these you have, then the more abilities your character can unlock. So yeah, pretty cool. So then we come to the main character, and I'm going to go out on a limb and uh, be gender specific and say that this is a girl. Because uh, sure looks like one. But yeah, uh, this one's really cute. I really like this one. This was the first one I spotted when we walked into the store. This this one caught my eye. So yeah, I think it's really cute. And again, like the Jacks one, it's it's really nicely done. It's got some really nice um, moulding 
and detailing. It just looks really sweet. And again, we've got these clear elements here. And a star on the front here. Just odd bits here and there. Just, and nicely painted as well, again. I do have to wonder how much these were when they came out originally because, you know, obviously these are these are much better than five pound toys, for sure. Just really lovely figures. I do really like these. I'm gonna have to try and make the effort to get to one of the other B and M uh, not B and M's home bargains. See if I can find the rest of these because I, I kinda want them all now. So the articulation in this figure is pretty much the same as Jack's. Uh, her head rotates. It'll only go to so far, but then, I mean, any further than that, and that's painful, so. Uh, the arms will go up and down and rotate on those soft ratchets again. And there's a ratchet at the elbow. I'm slightly concerned with this plastic though. It's the only thing that bothers me. And there's a bit on Jack's as well where it just doesn't seem to have gone together properly. So that is slightly concerning. I'm not sure if you have to use the articulation in the game, but we shall find out. But I do worry that that might crack open. So something to be aware of if you do decide to pick these up. Legs go back and forth. Actually, back a long way. Forward. Yeah. And not really out to the side. I mean, unless you want to pull it out of its socket. Goes out a little bit, but not too much. I did try and see if I could sit this one down, but it's sort of a little bit back heavy. You can kind of do it. Yeah. So, yeah, so the characters themselves, similar amount of articulation, um, both really well detailed and painted. I do like the way they look. I'm just going to put this in here for the moment, so she can be holding that. Right, I'm going to bring the other one back in. Get this one to stand up now. I feel like I need to lean this one back slightly to stand it up correctly or else it feels like it wants to go forwards. Here's the other one. I think we've definitely gone sort of, we've got the cutesy character and then we've got the more sort of, I don't know. This reminds me of, um, in one of the Toy Story movies, there was something similar to this. I, or maybe I'm misremembering. I've seen a character design similar to this somewhere else, but yeah, so you've got a really cutesy one and then you've got one that, that looks like you could really sort of smash some heads. So. so for the actual characters, I really like them. I, I think the characters look fantastic. Really cute little action figures. So like I said before, even if you just pick these up at a fiver for the figures, totally worth it. The game is free to download. Uh, like I say, I haven't actually played it yet. I am going to do that now. I'm going to go away, have a little play, see how they uh, they work. Um, and I will try and do some screen capture as well. I have never done that before, so <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. I will try so you can get a good idea of, of how the, uh, the game works. I will also see if I can take some video of the characters working. I'll see if I can download the game onto a different device, maybe do it that way. So, But yes, so this is it for this part. I'm going to go away a couple of days, try it out, play it for a little while, see how I get on with it, and then I'll come back and do a second video. So that's it for this video, for the introduction. When I come back, I will be opening both of these packets of cards as well, so we can have a look, see what's in these. The reason I haven't done it now is because that they do have AR features, and at least one of the cards in here you can use in the game, so I haven't 
gotten to that point yet so I wanted to go away see how it works first then come back and say yes this is this is how it works so yeah so do stay tuned if you're interested in seeing the gameplay and a follow-up to this video but for now that's all I've got to say about these two absolutely love them I will be back in a few days so stay tuned take care bye for now